Hey guys, how are you? This is your Monday afternoon summary from Mr. Sandman, who's over there. And he sent me one last night, just as I was posting the other one, so I'm going to start there like I did this morning. There is a timestamp on my morning uh, coffee and conversation where we discuss all things wealth transfer. I also do ninjas to help people if they want an op an option. I was resting today because I did a lot last night. We had our Zoom last night. So if you want to know about any of that or how to do a ninja, if you want a separate strategy for for evalu um, for revaluation instead of going through all the crazy processes, let me know. I'll put my email down below. You can contact me and I can give you my rates and stuff. So this was yesterday afternoon. This means cross-border trading coming soon. Good evening. So this was Sandman 1, so Paul's feeling better. Um, hold on, where is it? Here it is. This is a continuation. This is the very next one after the last intel I did, the summary. Al-Habusi and the Kuwaiti foreign minister discuss activating parliamentary diplomacy. Again, a lot of action with Kuwait. Kuwait is 325 to the U.S. dollar. Okay, so think about that and then think about the Iraq 1320, right? So it says, um, I'll just get to the details. Sunday, they discussed Sunday activating parliamentary diplomacy to consolidate cooperation between the two countries. The media office of the Speaker of the House of Representatives stated in a statement that um, bilateral relations between the two brotherly countries and cooperation in all fields including economy and investment the meeting discussed activating parliamentary diplomacy and friendship committees among the two countries guys what else do you need to know that this thing is done god told me it was done i have a prophetic voice for this i hope you'll join me sometime on coffee and conversation get to know me better um, or look at any one of my 2300 and counting videos same article different perspective we're going to go to that article um different perspective. It says, the meeting, according to the readout, touched on the fruitful discussions within the Ministry of Foreign Affairs contribute to enhancing the prospects of joint endeavors, joint endeavors with Kuwait. So then, this morning at 11.02 a.m., Iraq's oil revenue dominates national budget amid calls for economic diversification. Uh, <laughs> it says, Listen to this. Um, Shafak News, the Iraqi Ministry of Finance, unveiled its financial report on Monday, revealing that the country's revenues from the past five months surpassed 45 trillion dinars, $30.6 billion. A staggering 95.5% of these revenues were sourced from oil. Now, we all know that the global controllers don't like that. So they're trying to force them to get other even though we need it here, right? Anybody else drive a gas guzzler? I'm just saying, do you? Comment down below if you drive a gas I love Wranglers, right? I am I am so stubborn when they, when they make me do something, I do the opposite. I'm just saying. Are you like that? Comment down below. Let's have some fun. Um, standing up, right? The report covering the fiscal year 2023 from January to May recorded total revenues of 45 billion dinars with 1.9 billion dinars classified as transfer revenues excluded from the overall you don't need to know that a lot of money billions right the country's oil revenues reached an impressive 45 billion dinars in contrast non-oil revenues contributed to the federal budget 2 billion okay so it's mostly oil but that's what they're good at I use the example this this morning that I'm a really good talker. That's why God put me on YouTube. He doesn't hammer me for the fact that I'm not a very good listener. I'm a great talker, which is why you watch. <laughs> uh, Al Hassan drew attention to the efforts made by other oil producing countries, particularly those in the Gulf region, in diversifying their economies to reduce reliance on oil. However, Iraq has not followed suit, persisting in its dependence on oil and gas industries without broadening its economic portfolio. It is important to note that Iraqi's budgetary reliance on oil has had far-reaching implications, making it the region's largest importer of goods and commodities. This, I, this trade dynamic leads the country vulnerable fluctuations in oil prices and global market dynamics. But they're making a lot of money and they're providing a lot of oil to countries that still need oil. So you can see why they, they, you know, they don't want to do that. But look, how, look at their GDP versus ours. I'm just saying, don't you think they're worth at least a float? 
What do you think? Do you think they're going to float? Do you think they're going to RV? Are they going to RV? I want to hear from you. Comment down below. What do you think? I've been in this 11 years, guys. I've been watching this. And my experience with Price Waterhouse as an auditor, my experience with uh, working for global companies, um, offered the CFO position three times before the age of 32, makes me really enjoy this. And I hope you enjoy my content. Please comment down below if you like this content. Please subscribe, like, share. Electricity is needed to run the country. You can't use an ATM without power. So this talks about that. Um, electrical connection is the most prominent file of the discussions between foreign minister and secretary general of the GCC, which is the general of the Gulf Cooperation Council. Okay. Indicated that the electrical internet interconnection project with Iraq is ambitious. Foreign Minister Fouad Hussein said that in a joint press conference with the Secretary General of the Council of the Arab States of the Gulf, Hassim Muhammad al Badwadi attended the correspondent of the INA. The doors of Iraq are open to Gulf companies and that the Iraqi foreign policy is based on developing relations, stressing that relations between Iraq and the Gulf Cooperation Council countries are solid and strong. He added that the electrical connection with the Gulf and Saudi Arabia was a major focus of the discussions, noting that we encourage the entry of Gulf companies to Iraq. Hussein continued, the current government is working to diversify the economy as provide services, and it has a clear plan to invest in gas, pointing out that the Iraqi Gulf Forum, which will be held in Sharak, was discussed. He explained that there are Gulf plans to link the Iraqi economy, noting that Iraq plays a major role in managing the regional and international files. Guys, you just need to understand. They're important in the region, and a lot of people recognize it. It's not what we think about their country. It's their interconnection with everybody else that's going to rise the value. More talk about international relationships. Good evening. They're working at the port. That's Mr. Sandman. Saudi Ambassador Iraq has regained its regional and international status. Riyadi wants to strengthen cooperation. Saudi Arabia's Ambassador to Iraq, Abdul Abzi Shamari, revealed on Friday their vision, a vision of cooperation with Baghdad in various fields as he clarified the kingdom's position on the Iraqi elections. He stressed Iraq's territorial integrity and sovereignty. The kingdom has historical, social, and close ties with Iraq, and given the social composition of Iraq, the Arab tribes in Iraq and our Arab tribes from the Arabian Peninsula have a current social reach in the kingdom, Ambassador al Shamari said in an interview. The kingdom supports an independent, stable, and prosperous Iraq. And in this context, the kingdom supports everything that enables Iraq to regain its regional and international status. As you can see, official delegations from the kingdom that are visiting Iraq continuously within the framework of the Saudi-Iraq Coordination Council and in order to continue consult consultation and coordination between the leaders and officials. Guys, this thing is done. God told me it's done, and since then we've seen a lot of movement. Ever since I've been decreeing and declaring that it's done, it is done. God answers prayers. You know, you just have to know how, how he works. You have to thank him con continuously that you're in this. Guys, this is a pretty long article. I'm not going to go into all the details because this is already an eight minute video, but you need to understand what the significance of this is. And I know there are other channels that do all the details and they go in it and they're kind of boring, but you decide which ones you like. God bless everybody, guys. I'm, I'm still decreeing and declaring because God is my source that it is done. It is done. It is done. I hope you will join me in, in um, decreeing that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment down below if you like this kind of thing. Please subscribe, like, and share with other people because I'm fun and I'm different. And my name is Melanie Hines. And I look forward to seeing you sometime on my live chat. God bless. Bye.